So I go to Paul Watson now with these big new developments that are up on PrisonPlanet.com. And last week he broke when the news came out, which we already knew, but now it's mainstream news. People can't deny it. With more detail, how Bilderberg brags now in all these papers, they secretly set up the EU, just like we sued and got their documents they are running the North American Union. Paul Watson, big news. Hello, Alex. Good to be back. Good to have you here. Yeah. First of all, most of what you just talked about regarding the Second World War, Hitler and the Nazis, is all laid out in William Shirer's book, The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, which was written in the early 60s, which is considered the seminal book on the Third Reich. And all of this stuff's in there, and yet people treat it with suspicion when we talk about it all these years later. So yeah, well, the stay there, Paul. Let's 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 break down the new info. And, and folks, I'm telling you, they're setting up world government to kill most of you listening right now. Okay, well, most of us are dead if we don't beat these people. It's us or them. They run everything. We better turn that around. Stay with us. Is your life just going to be filled with ball games, partying, and mindless stuff that doesn't matter in the end? Or do you want to discover the mysteries of the universe? Do you want to know what it is to truly be human and stand up for goodness and honor and decency and for the innocence? You know, the enemy teaches you that there is no right and wrong. They teach you there are no heroes. But in your gut, you know that's a fraud. Many of you are not fulfilling your destiny to be heroes, but you are heroes. Somebody who puts aside their own petty personal gain to do what's right. And in the end, gains the world. Those that are willing to lay down their lives, gain their lives. Those that try to keep their lives and save their lives, lose them. Because when you've got a bunch of people who are cowardly, huddling and shaking, the tyranny, the wolves come. But when you're ready to fight and stand up and you know what's going on, tyranny evaporates like phantoms at dawn trying to remember the Thomas Jefferson quote about if you just educate the whole of the public about liberty, then tyranny will vanish like phantoms at dawn. Uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, Paul Watson. All right, Paul, I'll shut up here. Go over the article that you've written. It's, uh, get, it's all over mainstream news, what we've already reported for years, but here it is, mainstream news. Top Nazis planned EU-style Fourth Reich. Then they founded Bilderberg, and now they admit they set up the European Union and the NAU, all of it. Okay, well, what we already knew before these latest documents came out was this. As everybody knows, um, the first couple of years of the Second World War, the Nazis blitzed through Europe. They were on top, but from the early 1940s onwards, the worm had turned and they knew that military defeat was all but certain. And so they started to devise ways of how they could preserve their power um, by means of consent over conquest. And it was during this period that top Nazis, such as Nazi economics minister Walter Funk, wrote about the uh, necessity to create, quote, a central European Union and, quote, a European economic area. That's what Funk called for in his book, The European Community as well as him, um, his co-authors, Nazi academic Heinrich Hunker, wrote in the same book, quote, classic national economy is dead. Community of fate, which is the European economy, fate and extent of European cooperation depends on a new unity economic plan. Also, fellow Nazi Gustav Koenig wrote, quote, we have a real European community task before us. I am convinced that this community effort will last beyond the end of the war. And, that and that's why they always say that the European Union, the engine of it's Germany, because the German taxpayers pay for it all. It's because you've got crump industries and all of these guys who are right up there on par with the Rothschilds and others in the power structure, they literally suck all the money out of the German people to buy off the rest of Europe for themselves. It's just an economic domination. Right. And then in uh, following the release of this book, uh, Minister of Propaganda Joseph Goebbels ordered the creation of, quote, large-scale economic unification of Europe, believing that, quote, 
in 50 years' time, people would no longer think in terms of countries. This was in 1940, and in 1993, uh, just 53 years later, the European Union in its current form was born. And so, Paul, Paul, that's why they're an irresistible force until you consciously realize what they're doing, because they move like a glacier. I mean, they just, it's just that irresistible force. Of, I'm going to twist you. I'm going to take my time butchering you real good. And the general public's thinking on a day to day, and the global masterminds, they're thinking on 50 year models. Go ahead. Right. It's, it's a long term agenda. Uh, other top Nazis who also called for the creation of pan European um, federal economic superstate were Ribbentrop, Quisling, and Stice Inquart, who he spoke for, quote, the new Europe of solidarity and cooperation among all its people will find rapidly increasing prosperity once, once national economic boundaries are removed. And that could have been taken straight out of a CFR meeting or a trilateral commission meeting or whatever. So you've got all these top Nazis in the early 40s saying... We need a pan-European economic empire, and we need to do it by consent rather than conquest. And then we'll get onto the new documents, which only solidify that this was taking place after the break. Yeah, it's no doubt. The entire European Union to be the center of the new world government, as Gordon Brown has said, is to carry out Nazi policies of mass death.